So I'm back today to show you a really neat demo I do with my kids during the conduction convection radiation unit and also with the specific heat unit. So what I basically do is I set it up just like this and I just tell my students I have two black tiles. What I do is I take the temperature of the tile just to show them they're going to be about the same. That one's about 65. This one over here is about 70. So actually, this one feels a little bit cooler than this one. Even to the touch, this one's gonna feel cooler because they're different substances, but I don't tell them what exactly they are. What we end up doing here is I take two ice cubes, put them onto the tile simultaneously, and immediately the one on the left starts to melt. Remember, we took the temperatures, they were about the same. I mean, if you wanna get really technical, this was actually a little bit cooler, while this one, it was a little bit warmer. Even from the touch though, this one is cooler. But notice how this one is going through the phase change of melting way more rapidly than this one. There's gotta be a reason for it. And the reason for this is because of the material. This is made of aluminum. This tile over here is made of plastic. Aluminum is a great conductor of energy. It has a very low specific heat. Objects that have low specific heats absorb heat energy very quickly. Same thing with conductors. Conductors transfer energy very quickly. Metals are very good conductors. So that heat energy is being transferred from the ice cube into the tile or vice versa, and you end up having some very, very quick melting. Over here, plastic. Plastic is an insulator. Yes, it's a solid, but insulators are not good conductors. It's the whole reason why wires that get plugged in have a plastic or rubber coating to insulate them from any kind of energy transfer. Okay, now this one feels much colder because what is happening is that the tile is pulling the heat out of my fingers and is making it feel really cold. Remember, these two tiles were about the same temperature, but the metal feels very cold because it's such a good conductor with a low specific heat. Okay, it is going to heat up much, much quicker. It's gonna pull the energy out much quicker because conductors are good transfer of energy and that's why the ice cube's gonna melt. Look at the one on the plastic, still completely intact, not even melting. So this is a good demo to do in class, okay? Even if you don't have the kit, very easy to make. And hopefully you learned a little something about conduction, convection, radiation, a little bit with specific heat. Until next time, everybody.